big changes are coming to Android development starting November 1st this year, 2025. If your application uses native C or C++ code, you will need to update it to support 16 KB memory page size. If not, your application will be rejected on the Google Play Store. So in this video, I will explain what it means, why Android is making those changes and exactly what you need to do to keep your app compliant. So I got this email from Google Play Store asking me to fix the issue of 16 KB page size requirement. To ensure your app works correctly on the latest version of Android, which is Android 15, I have to support the 16 KB memory page requirement. So if you click here, it takes you to the developer page. So on the developer page, you can check your unread notification. I have the same issue pointed out here. So you click to view the detail. This message was sent this day and the deadline for me fixing this is November 1st, 2025. If you come below, you have the option to request extension, but by 31st May next year, 2026, all developers have to fix this issue. So what exactly is the 16 KB memory page? Your phone's memory is divided into smaller blocks or parts, and each block is called a page. For years, Android used to assign 4 kilobytes to each block, but modern computers or phones has advanced and now they allow you to assign 16 kilobytes of memory to those pages, which means you have faster memory access, less overhead, fewer pages to manage. Think of it like moving to a new apartment. If you are moving to a new apartment and you use a small car, you have to go a ton of trip to collect all your stuff from the old house. However, if you use a bigger truck, you either go probably one or two to gather all your things, which is faster. So that's how the 16 KB memory page size works. So not every developer or application will be affected. If you build your application purely with Java or Kotlin, then you don't have to worry about this update. However, if you build your application with pure Kotlin and Java, by your dependency or libraries you added to your project has native C or C++ code, you need to adjust your application to support the 16 KB memory page size. For developers that uses the native C++ and C code, like game developers, they also have to make adjustments to their code. I know some developers feel like Google is forcing too many rules lately, but let's clear this up. This is not Google inventing a new restriction. The hardware itself has evolved. Our modern laptop, computers, and phones have improved and support 16 KB pages. And Android is simply aligning the OS and the toolchain to take advantage of this performance gain. Even Apple has been doing this for years. iPhone switched to the 16 KB pages back during the time they were doing the 64 bit transition. So Android isn't being strict, it's just catching up with the industry standard. If you are a developer and you are affected, what do you have to do? You can check from your developer notification. If you get this message in your inbox or you come to your Google Play console, you see from the notification, you see the message about what to do. Secondly, when you come to your application, select test and release. You have latest release and bundle. When you select this, you see your latest version that is in production. Click on this arrow. When you come to the down part, you see memory page size. My application do not support the 16 KB. And when you click on the detail, it will show you the libraries in the application that do not support the 16 KB size. So I have another application here, the birthday calculator, that when you come to the same location and check for the memory page size, you realize it supports the 16 KB. So if your application is purely Kotlin or purely Java, it won't be affected. But if you have some native code that are .so, then you have to fix this issue. Let's see how to fix this issue. The first thing you have to do is to recompile your application with latest tool. First, upgrade your Android Gradle plugin to 8.5.1 or higher version. So the fastest way to do that is to come to your Android Studio, select tools. From the tools, you see AGP Upgrade Assistant. So this one tells you your current Gradle plugin version and then the latest version. 
just select it from this drop down and then click run selected step so it is successful you can come to your griddle and then check lift.version.tom inside there you can see that the agp has been updated successfully the next thing to do is to update your ndk version to 28 and higher so to do that you come to your android studio look for sdk version select sdk tools from the sdk currently i have the sdk 7 installed so i have to update it to the 28 or higher so i'll pick the latest version which is 29 and then make sure your android sdk build is on the latest version then press ok and then press ok to install it the ndk install successfully click on finish so the next thing is to check your dependencies sometimes the dependency or library that you add to your project may not support 16 kb the android lint warning system is able to detect it and warn you as of now i don't have any in my project so i'm not getting any direct warning over here so you check your dependencies those that are late then you update them to the latest version doing this will automatically align all libraries to support the system kb after updating this then you can rebuild the project you clean it and now rebuild the project so the build is completed successfully to test the application you can use your emulator or your physical device your physical device has to be android 15 on android 15 you have the chance to toggle between the 4kb and then 16kb in the developer mode now the emulators have the support for the 16kb so to support that you select the device manager go to add new virtual device so from Pixel 8 and above they support the 16kb page so you select one of this and then you click on next from the dependency that will be downloaded you see 16 kb page support from google click on finish this will install all the dependency for the emulator once it is done you hit on start so once the dependency are installed and the emulator start you can test your application on it and see if it passes the 16 kb test make sure you try it on a physical device before you publish it so aside the lint warning that android studio provides for you you have the apk analyzer that you can use to check your files if they need updating so to do that let's build apk from this application so generate apk all right so now that you have the apk generated click on this analyze link here to open the analyzer or you can come to build from the menu analyze apk and select your apk open which will open the analyzer for you so this one said the app does not support apk devices all right the analyzer also show you the apk does not support 16kb devices and it shows you the exact location so as you can see we have a native code so this is a new application i created it's just this jitsu library that i added that is causing the problem so i'll need to investigate if the library you added does not support the 16 kb uh, you need to contact the developers so that they update it for you or you look for alternative library to achieve the same thing so once you check with the analyzer and it passes then you can rebuild your project and generate the sign app bundle and submit it to play store so here is the thing if your app uses kotlin or java you are already good to go but if you use native code then you have to start testing now rebuild your app with the latest ndk and make sure the dependencies are up to date and remember this is not google being restrictive it's hardware evolution and android is finally catching up with what apple has been doing for years so don't wait till google's deadline in november 2025 fix it now and keep your app future ready subscribe if you want to stay ahead of android changes i'll keep you updated with more tips and android tutorial